Well guys, I might have a little bit of explaining to do. I promised weekly uploads, and it's been like three weeks and I haven't uploaded a video. I want to apologize. I have no excuses, but I would like to explain what's been going on with the Mountain Slayers crew these last couple of weeks. So, about five weeks ago, maybe six weeks ago, uh, we went out on a nice little fall ride. We took the Subaru. And we took the Bronco. Well, the Bronco's brakes gave out on the trail. As you can see, she's a little apart right now. We were getting ready for grooming. We are doing shakedown tests. And, uh, you know, shakedown tests don't always go well. Brakes gave out relatively high speed. And to avoid hitting me and my other occupants in the Subaru, uh, driver of the Bronco picked a tree, which ended up, you know, there were worse choices. So, in the end, nobody got hurt. That's all you can ask for when you live your life on the edge. You know, really, other than that, as long as nobody gets hurt, things are replaceable. A little bit of labor here and there. It's always fun when you're doing it with friends. But a life, injury, that gets avoided amazing it was a good day any day that you all can go home after doing something exciting that was a good day so so where are we at um we had just done a shit ton of work to get the winch on um <laughs> it came out so nice <laughs> you know that was all solid on there on the frame rails um, what happened is that mount used to be in line with this frame rail up here it all got pushed about nine inches maybe maybe even as far as a foot to the left now what that did is that shuffled the whole body in the front just these panels though and then this door this door goes into this panel so this door is now off a little bit we need to get that closed um, Let's see, so what we've been doing all day is taking parts off, disconnecting things, uh, cutting where we needed to cut. And we are trying to force the body corrected this way. Uh, thankfully, nothing but the body was bent. The frame is completely straight, um, axle's all good. We noticed some problems with the brake lines. I'll cut to that footage. See the issue right here? I mean, look at it. That's popped right off of the. That's the brake line. <laughs> oh. Popped right off. Oh. 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 And what the hell does this go to? It's probably just a breather valve. That must have happened in the accident or something. It must have. So we need two, anyways. <laughs> the back end of this one looks okay, I think. <laughs> we don't know if that happened before or after the accident. That very well may be what caused the accident. So today we're getting the mat tracks on. Um, I'm working on a couple of videos right now. I'm gonna have those out soon. One of them's gonna be the mat tracks. You know, uh, we're not too far off schedule. We're, we're gonna get a new radiator in this. We're gonna get this all fixed up. We had just installed the light bar and the winch. Um, so one problem is the winch was on, took the brunt of the force. Uh, we'll see if that works still. But, uh, the Subaru, however, towed the Bronco back and is uh, doing amazing as always, other than the fact that the exhaust is falling off because we're terribly abusive. But um, the show goes on, kind of a sad update, but we will be back. We will be bigger and better than ever. If you guys would like to help... Uh... Ah, what the fuck? Hey, I was going to I'm going to be frank, we are never going to financially recover from this, but the show must go on. If you guys would help to get it back on the road, uh, please like, subscribe, share any videos you find great. Remember to check your brakes and have fun out there. Keep it safe. I'll see you guys next time. A little bit of snow on the ground, but not too much.